topic. Where are my things? Where are my things? So, I've been thinking about this for quite some time now. Um, you know, every time I hear parents speak to their children, little ones especially, you know, like from like zero to four, five, for example, speaking to them in English, black parents, and this is not an attack, it's each to their own, it's not an attack at all, it's just an observation, that I find myself going, it's kind of sad, I'll tell you why, there's nothing wrong with your kids speaking English and going to English schools and blah, blah, blah. But there's everything said, not wrong, because you have the right to, ra to raise your children the way you want to. There's everything said because I don't think parents realize the kind of damage or the kind of missed opportunity they are deprived, uh, an opportunity they're depriving their children and 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 the 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 power and and wealth in knowing your mother tongue when you grow older and they can relate because most of them um can still speak their mother tongue but there's there's something sad when you speak i'm playing with a child a black child hey and they go hmm? um and I'm like, yo, this child, when they grow up, they one might might resent you or they might not see anything wrong because when they are with their peers that can speak their mother tongue and they find themselves not having a sense of belonging and understanding and and fitting in whatever, they might resent you or they might feel sad or they might be okay. But I just find it so unfair on children not to be given an opportunity to one to learn uh, to, to speak their mother tongue properly and two to 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 make a decision when they're older if they don't com they completely don't want to speak their mother tongue but they know it because you speaking and and making them know their mother language or mother tongue would not take anything away but you not teaching your children get that and and speaking with with them in their mother tongue is definitely going to take something away from them so think about it please think about it um it's it's oh i cringe i i, I really cringe and and the thing is they are balanced because at school they speak english they play with other kids they they it's everything is in english and then um then when they come home, what's wrong with having a balance of... And I know parents who do that, that who create a balance at home. We speak the mother language or we make time for it, which is sad that we still we have to make time for our mother tongues. And, and trust me, trust me, in adult... And he said in adult world, in, in adulthood... It's plain field level, whatever. Same level. Safana. Safana. I did not go to a multiracial school. I don't know anything about I didn't even finish school yet for that matter. But it did not take anything away from me that I did not go to these schools because life is life. We hustle. The aim is to hustle. The aim is to be intelligent. The aim is to, to succeed. And whether you went to a private school or did not it does not really 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 guarantee you success or failure it's up to you as an individual right i've got cousins thank god for them um cousins that went to private schools as we were kids but luckily for for them they were given an opportunity to be able to speak um and 
now Italian B2, we speak amongst each other in whatever language that we want to, when we want to, we speak English, we speak Suswati, we speak Zulu, whatever, because we're given an opportunity and thank God for that. So imagine if one of our cousins did not or was not able to speak, he was going to be in trouble, I think. So please, please, parents, think about it if you still have an opportunity. One, I find it embarrassing for kids to be proud that they can't speak. I met an 18-year-old boy and I said, what, why can't you, I spoke to him in Zulu, he says, I can't understand, Kati. When Spong was like, what's your name? And he said, Spong says, I said, so you don't speak? Said, no, I don't speak Zulu. And with pride, I don't speak Zulu. Um, and your parents speak Zulu, yes, they do, um, but I don't. Um, I and I can't, and I'm, it's okay, like, speak in English. And I found that very sad, so think about it. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And remember, we are, we are one. We are Africans. We are Africans. Okay, why am I still here? Why?